Hello friends, this is Rupesh and I'm watching CV Peanuts video series on tree data structure series and this video is about binary tree array representation. So just before this video we have seen that the linked list representation of your binary tree and before that we have seen what are the different types of the binary tree, correct? Now this is your binary tree, I can take any number 5 here, 6, 2, 3, 8 and we have seen that the linked list way of doing it so this each and every node in linked list gate would be looking like this. So initially, I mean, this is going to be your data portion and this and this is going to be your left and right child portions, right? So initially they will be null and this is going to be the data. So forget about this one now. So we are going to talk about this binary tree representation in arrays. So you have to remember one important point that index is fixed. So this is going to be either index 0 or 1. So there are actually two ways to achieve it if parent is p and array start from 0 to n minus 1 because we know that array start from 0, correct? But we can start our array from 1 to n also. So it's just that how you have created the data. So if your array start from 0 to n minus 1, then the left child would be at this location and right child will be at this location considering p is the parent here. So if let's suppose parent is 1 and according to this formula it, it is going to be 2 into 1 plus 1 and this is nothing but 3 meaning if parent is at 1 then its left child will be found at third position and if you are going to calculate the right one meaning it will be found at fourth position because 2 into 1 plus 2 this one so that is going to be at fourth position so now you might be asking that what is the position here hey guys it's time for a quick pause and what you are seeing right now is my patreon page so if you don't know what is patreon it's a crowdfunding website where you can support any content creator like me and in return you get rewards so if you join me, I can be your private tutor or you just want to chat with me and ask your doubts or maybe you just want to support me with very small amount and I'll still have something for you. So do visit my Patreon page and see if you like it. And if you want to discontinue anytime, you can do that. So if you have already visited my Patreon page, let's continue our video now. So considering you are starting from n-1, I mean 0 to n-1, this is going to be the position so this is going to be stored at location 0 in the array this is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so it goes like this and this and this it is not very hard and if it is I mean if your array start from 1 to n then this is going to be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 it's just that simple you will start from top and then you will keep on assigning the numbers from left to right and you know what, I have used this array representation of binary tree in my programming competitions so much because the programming competition is a very good place where you can apply this because your lower limit and upper limit is fixed. So there they will tell you that okay from 0 to some number are the nodes, correct? So that is the boundary. So you will take that much big array. But in real life, it becomes very hard actually to take array because array cannot grow and shrink and that is the problem. You may say that you will take vector but still it comes with its own complexity. So that's why I have seen in the companies they will go for the linked list way. They will actually store the nodes okay, and not the array way because their scaling is the problem. But in case of programming competition, I have seen it is much more clear because you don't have to deal with the pointers and all that. So it's very clear, right? Left is this formula, right is this formula if you are treating your array starting from 0 to n minus 1. Otherwise, if it is starting from 1 to n, then this is going to be the formula. I personally prefer this one because here we are doing one less addition. Can you see this? We don't have to add anything here. We are just adding here. But if we are using this one, then we have to add this constant all the time. So better go for this one. You may save so much of clock cycle if you are dealing with so many nodes. 
So let's take the example as our tree is starting from zero. We will take this example. And what about finding the left of two? So we have position, we are standing at position number two. And I want to find in array, where is the left of this two? Okay, so this is going to be that. So let me create an array. So it will be very easy for us to actually see all these things. So this is five and then six and then zero. So this is how in array it will look like and this is the tree structure. Now, if I'm telling you, dude, tell me that who is the left node of this zero and right node of this zero. So as we are starting our array from zero, we will take this formula and for left, we will use this formula. So two into the array position of this zero is two. So two into two plus one, which is nothing but five. So this is holding left node of zero. So can you see this? It is actually holding it. And if we will go for the right one, it's just six because two into two plus two means six and see it is actually at sixth location correct so this is how you will get it it is very simple just you have to remember these formulas now let's look at the code so this is the main data structure which is an array here and i have taken the size as 10 and my array start from one it's just that i have this function root which will create a root and i am explicitly making my root at one so this is how the driver function would look like. I have this root assignment and I'm saying that my root start from one here. So let's do that. We have a here at root and this is array position one. So what I'm saying is my array will actually start from one. So here we have a now set left of one. So in graphics, we can just simply say that, okay, this is the left of this a but in array how you will do it exactly that formula as our array is this time started from here meaning for left you will use two multiplied by the position so currently our a is at one position so two multiplied by one meaning two means here so we will place b here so this is what I told you, right? One, two, and then here, whatever will come at this location would be at third location because we start from root and then left, right, correct? So let's do this. We have this C here. And these are the functions. Actually, this is very easy. You can see that you can pause the video and see how actually I'm doing it. And these functions are not very hard. It's just set left of one as B, set right of one as C. So we have set right of a as C, correct? And this is the position and this is the element what we want to set. So likewise, we will set the array and it would look something like this. So this is the representation and the indexes are one, two, and the index is three and then four, five, and nothing is there at six and this is at seven. So in array, they would look something like this. We have six here, seven here, A, B, C, D, e and then f so it's very easy right and if you're thinking that okay how am i going to use this into programming competition then don't worry actually i have planned a live session where i will show you guys lead code problems related to the topics what i have explained in my previous week okay so let's suppose we are learning two to three topic in one week and then in weekend maybe saturday or sunday we will see a lead code problem related to those topics what we have already learned in the previous week. So it's just that it will be a good practice and you guys would be able to ask relevant questions and easy for me also to answer all those questions. So don't worry, just hold for some time. And can you see this? We are actually dealing our tree in array. We don't need anything. If I'm saying that who is left of this C, then you just ask, your array start from zero or one. If it start from one, then this is the formula for left and this is the formula for right. And if your array start from zero, then this is the formula for left and this is the formula for right. It's just that simple. So you're asking for C, right? So C is at three. So you will put this three here and you will get the left. So three into two, six plus one, seven. If your array start from zero, but here our array start from one so this is going to be the formula and two into three meaning six so 
Currently, we don't have anything at this 6, that's why we are not getting anything here. So, it's actually very good for programming competitions and if you really don't like pointers and all that. <laughs> but don't worry, we will practice too much that you will be so fluent in writing data associated related codes. So, with this, I would like to sum this video guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Take care.